Hello, William. You hear me? Hello, William. Can you hear me? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Yeah. Hi, good evening. How are you? I'm good. Yeah? Yes. Oh, good. I'm glad to hear that. Excellent. Yeah. How are you, David? I'm fine, teacher. Good, good. I'm glad to hear that. How was your day? Hey, it's good. Good day, yes. Yeah? Oh, well, yeah. good. I'm really glad to hear that. Excellent. Uh, you're ready for uh, for the weekend. Yes, I, I, my plan is to race a lot. <laughs> oh, good. That's a good plan. That's a very good plan. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Good, good. So it was a good Friday then and ready for the yes. weekend. Good, excellent. I'm glad to hear that. And how about you, William? How was your day? How was your, your Friday? It was um, easy. Oh, yeah? I, yeah, and the traffic was uh, relaxed too. So uh, oh. it is a good, a good oh. news. Good, good. Wow, Friday with relaxed traffic. Yeah, that's that's something new. <laughs> yeah, maybe in my area. Uh -huh. Okay, where do you live? I work in Santa Tecla, but I live um, in near La Cima. La Cima. Mm -hmm. mm, okay, okay. Mm, yeah, there's, yeah, there's, well, maybe, yeah, maybe because it's not too far away, right? Like yeah. one place to the other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, that's good. I'm glad to hear. I'm glad to hear that you're, that um you had a, a an easy commute home. Yeah. Yeah, good, good, good. All right, hello Francisco. Hello, teacher. How are you? Just fine, teacher. Uh, today uh, I have my <clears throat> sorry, my day off. Yeah, I can see that you're at home. <laughs> this, this year, how do you say por fin? At last. At last. Yeah. yeah at, at last at home. Oh, yes. I can imagine how happy you are. But tomorrow, uh, i going to work in the night. Oh, really? <laughs> the Again? Happiness, the happiness is very short. <laughs> So so tomorrow you start working at night and then you start the cycle again like every day at night or how does that work? Uh, sorry teacher I don't listen well. Okay, that's okay. Um so my question is um so tomorrow uh, you start uh your your like like so today you rest Tomorrow night you start work, and do you start at work every like working every night from here on? I uh, this chief uh, I start tomorrow and and uh, Tuesday. Tuesday. Hmm. Yes. Oh, okay. Our four four days. Four days. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Okay, wow, that's good. That's good. Um, so yeah, that's so only four days is not bad. And then and then you rest one day and then again. Is that is that is that how it works? Like um, four days, four days you work at night, you rest, and then you start again. No, not this sure. Uh, I, uh, after this chief, uh, I uh, um, morning, morning shift, five yeah. days. Uh, for morning yeah. shift. Oh, five days. Oh, okay, okay. So, 
So that means that mm, Saturday, Saturday night, you work, no. Uh, this, this Saturday, uh, I, I start uh, at uh, 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Saturday to, to Tuesday. And uh, Wednesday mm -hmm. and, and Thursday, mm -hmm. uh, there are my day off. And next, uh, I uh, start in the morning on, um, on Friday. I see. Okay. Okay. All right. So Friday, you start working if on during the day. In the morning. The day, in the morning. In the morning mm -hmm. because uh, I start the, the shift at mm -hmm. six six a.m. and mm -hmm. uh, and the, the shift end to mm -hmm. two p.m. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. That's good. That's good. Yeah. So you you have a chance to uh to rest and, and yeah. Because day shifts are not that bad, right? Or do you prefer night shifts? For me, yes. <laughs> you prefer night Be shifts? Yes. Really? Because because uh, in the day, uh, I use uh, a sleep, for example, around five or six hours in the day. Because mm -hmm. in the in the place that I live is very hot. Uh -huh. I live in Alcahutla. And oh. the weather is very hot every mm. day. <laughs> and for example, I I uh, go to the bed uh, around uh, 10 a.m. and I wake up around 3, <laughs> 3 or 4 p.m. And the rest of, uh, of the the day I, I can do it uh, anything. Mm -hmm. I understand. Okay, okay. All right, yeah, I, I get it. Yeah, okay. But the, the, the morning shift uh, for me is difficult to uh, wake up early <laughs> because mm. I wake up uh, at 4 a.m. Mm, okay. During during the 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 shift. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> I, for, I I understand. For me, it's, 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 uh, more tired. Uh, this this shift mm -hmm. the, the morning. Mm -hmm. For this yeah. for this reason, the wake up early. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I get it. I get it. You're not a morning person. <laughs> yes, yes, for sure. I, I know, I am a morning yeah. person. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I get it. I don't. For me, it's really strange because, um, I'm not. I don't consider myself a morning person. Uh, like I, 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 I like to stay up late. Um, I don't like to go to bed early, but. I wake up, like, I don't like to wake up early, but if I wake up early, I feel that I have more energy during the, like, at the yes. beginning of the of the morning. This, I don't, this, uh, yeah. is, this is true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so even though I don't consider myself a morning person, but I feel that I I the can, difference. yeah, I can, I can function more in the morning. So, for example, if I have a job to do, like some sort of job on the computer, to give you an example, I prefer to wake up early and do the job in the morning than to stay up late and do it. Because if I stay up late, I feel that I do it very slowly, slow, <laughs> slow, slowly. And so, so I prefer to wake up early and I feel that I, when in the morning I do it very quickly. So yes. I don't know. I really don't know if I'm a morning person like or an or a night person i have no idea i i, I can't really figure that one out but yes. i'm glad i'm glad uh, that you mm -hmm. i you, see you, the same 
-hmm. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it's just it's just waking up early that it's the the problem, but uh that I think it it's quite easy. That's it, sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. It's probably uh, then the morning uh, has more energy for for the people. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly, because their brain is rested, right? That's yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. You don't have a dolphin brain, right, David? <laughs> no, no dolphin brains in, in the morning. Yeah. David, I don't. I don't think I David don't. heard us. Yeah. <laughs> hey, David, can you hear us? David, can you hear me? Hello? For the teacher, I am was my me. It's okay. It's okay. Did you hear what we were talking about? Sorry? Did you hear did you hear what we were talking about? No teacher. I, I was trying to connect the audio of the computer, but I I, I can't. I I, I was using the mic of the of the computer, but until now I I now I can hear. But I you can hear. hear the, yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay. No problem. I was telling uh, uh, Francisco that in the morning for me it's easier. Like it's difficult to get up, but it's easier to do things in the morning. Like it's easier for me to. Um, it, like if I have to do work on the computer, I prefer to do it in the morning because my brain is is uh you know more awake in the morning. And so I tell him, no, in the morning you don't have a dolphin brain. <laughs> yes, yes, I yeah, I now understand. <laughs> right, right, um, David. In the morning you don't have a dolphin brain either, right? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's it's uh, well. We have uh, uh, cycles, and mm -hmm. uh, there are people that are more productive in the night, and there are people that are more productive in the, in the morning. But generally, it's in the morning. It's in the yeah. morning with the, with, yes. Exactly. We need to do the 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 worst uh, tasks in the morning, early, and then we avoid the pressure of doing them. They, they will be productive. Exactly. Yeah. Right. That's exactly right. Yeah. Okay. Hello, Claudia. Anna Claudia, how are you? Hi, teacher. I'm sorry I couldn't mute. No, I'm, doing okay. very, I'm doing very well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the weather know. is now better than in the other days. Today is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, kind of cool, kind of cool. Oh, really? How how yeah, much? Kind of cool. It's it's nice. It I guess it's like 26, 27. But you it, it feels cool. It's like normal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Other days there was like a, a, a feeling like uh you were like in like in an oven. <laughs> uh -huh. But uh, but now it's uh, it's cool. It's it's great. Hmm. Okay. I I was hearing what you've been talking with uh, Francisco, but and I was thinking maybe she the teacher thinks she's a night person, but but yes, of course. Right now she's a night person, but right now is living on the other side of the world. That night for her brain is day. <laughs> on yeah. The other side of the world. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, but actually, no, I like I, I mean, like in general, like I've, I've always been um, more uh, of a of, like, well, actually, to be honest, um, I, I always, I was always a night person, I would always stay up late doing things, and it would work better for me. Um, but then um after that I noticed uh, sorry after after my pregnancy I noticed that I I I changed um yeah I, I started 
after like my pregnancy well during my pregnancy obviously I was getting like really really tired early in the in the in, in the in the evening and I would go to bed early and then all of a sudden I started to switch I uh I started to have more energy in the morning so I think mm-hmm. that kind of changed I think that's what the change was for me mm-hmm. honestly yeah yeah mm-hmm. are you more a morning person or uh, an evening person I think I I I got I cannot accomplish in the that I have a schedule. Mm, I can get custom to if like my brains know that if is let's say in this way is business required <laughs> uh, because when I was studying I remember that I was uh, awake the whole night because I was studying a, a my my um, career at the university was mm-hmm. like some kind of a environmental designer so it's kind mm-hmm. of architecture but it's for in is for uh, interiors I don't know if I can say that for mm-hmm. inside places okay yeah, and yeah. furniture and you need to make a draw in my when I was studying, so so you're an interior was, designer, interior designer, yeah. But my career was like more focused in the environment. In Spanish, the name of my career is diseño ambiental. It's not mm-hmm. only a furniture or or a design for uh, interior is spaces at home. Is mm-hmm. it goes above and beyond than that so you need you needed to learn how to draw make plan plans can i say yeah plans no um maps uh, yeah not maps blueprints you call them yeah even though i draw with by hand yeah 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 blueprints Mm -hmm. okay Blue blueprint you said or two prints? Blue prints. Okay. So I pass the whole night drawing stand up because you know you use all these tables specialized mm-hmm. for drawing. So you cannot be sit down, you need to be stand up, moving. And I got used at the time to work at night, but then uh after some years when I was uh, working and because of, I was tra- I was commuting from Santa Ana to San Salvador, I needed to wake up early. So I learned to work early because mm. I was, most of the time I was waking up at 3 or 3.30 a.m. every day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I was sleeping late. So it was like, my brain got used to it, but thanks God, the pandemic came. <laughs> and then... <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Yeah, I'm sorry for it because it, it, it was a pain worldwide. But in my case, uh, I knew what uh, the meaning of sleep is because... Yeah. Yeah. It, well, it you know, I, I always say that, um, I mean, there's always going to be Mm. how can I put it there's always going to be a sometimes tragic situations or mm-hmm. not not so favorable but I think that the importance is to always find something positive mm-hmm. in every situation That's no right. matter how how bad it is and so I know that the pandemic was a horrible thing for uh, you know for everybody and and especially those who lost to loved ones. Lost, exactly. Right. So that was you know that's horrible. Mm-hmm. But but I think we could all learn something exactly. and find something good about it. Uh, you know, for example, for me, the pandemic was a blessing in the sense that. Well, there was a few things that that were blessings. One was that I was able to spend more time with um, with my son, which I wasn't. I I didn't ha- spend so much time before, you know, because because of your job. 
because and of because my job. you must be active. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So that's one. Um, and two, um, it was also a blessing because um, I learned how to work online. Uh -huh. And, um, you know, because if, if I had, if the pandemic hadn't happened, I wouldn't, I probably would never have learned how to, how to uh, teach online. Really? <laughs> but right. since the first well, course I, we been with you, I felt, I, I always had the impression that, wow, this woman is a professional working online. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, let me see. Yeah, I. I think because you well, need with... to handle all the tools. Zoom has a lot of keys. Oh, and things yeah, to yeah. The thing is that I think we started in like back in 2021. I guess right, something yeah. like that. And um, by that time, I had already learned a bit because uh, yeah. uh, we we started learning in 2000. I 20. remember, yeah, 2020. I was it was somewhere like, let me see when it was March. Like so in around April, March? About May. Around mm -hmm. May of 2020, we started to um, learn how to use um, a Zoom, I remember. And so by the time that I was with you, I guess I had gotten a little bit used to it. But um, but it, it was it was not easy. And but like I said, I, I, you know, for me, it was a blessing because, you know, if I had not learned how to work online, I probably wouldn't be, you wouldn't here be there. in Turkey. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> so, yeah. So I always say find the blessing. Things happen with a purpose, with a yeah. learning. Yeah. yeah. Like you always, I, I think you have to find the, mm -hmm. the 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 lesson you know find something positive yeah, because that you can of. <laughs> yeah exactly yeah mm -hmm. yeah exactly oh, right. in that case I, I i think my brain got used to if it's required to be an am person i am and if it is required to be a pm person i am, I am. yeah yeah I, you... because of that I am able to switch and, and I mm -hmm. I had to learn to 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 change and I was like kind of forced because I didn't think in that way in the past but when I started working at the call center at the beginning was direct uh, Dell company and mm -hmm. one of the let's say cultures line they had it was that always mm -hmm. to be ready to change mm -hmm. even if you don't like changes you need to uh mm -hmm. look the positive and all of them and you need to adjust yourself to them so you are part of, of it because they don't happen uh, uh, like let's say like uh, in the it's not a lucky thing that they happen is is they happen for a reason so i they you know what yeah. what are the things they i remember they did a uh, we started working at 7 a.m. And suddenly at 6.50 a.m., everybody was ready and suddenly they said, you know what? Now we're going to switch and you're going to, with your things, you're going to move to this, this, this place. And they got all this type of dynamics. You just don't imagine. Every day you didn't know what will happen. So you will be ready. Mm -hmm. And they got used to us. They, they made us to get used to be ready for something, what is going to happen, and I'm and I'm ready for this. How I'm going to adjust to this, and and that is something that I are really, really thanks to the Dell company. Mm. Mm. Good, good, good. Yeah, absolutely. I agree. You you always have to be like ready for change. Ready because, for change, even though yeah. you don't like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I think that's one of the the skills. Um, the soft skills mm -hmm. that we need soft we skills. all need to we all need to learn mm -hmm. to be able to be flexible enough to adjust to any kind and of don't change. fight with it no just look that way where you can adjust and if some everybody is walking you need to walk in the same rhythm absolutely and if you need to learn how to walk at that rhythm you need to look for it. yeah because if you resist if you resist um, change, oh. uh, you just suffer more. 
Exactly. Because change will happen whether you like it or not, whether you exactly. accept it or not, it's going to happen. So exactly. if you if you resist it, you're just going to make your life more complicated. Uh, yeah, yeah. Frustrating. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And, so, and that way, I think I can adjust and I can be an I am or be in person. It's okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, um, I, it's time for me to take attendance, but I'm going to need your cameras on, everybody. Um, so if you guys can do me that favor. Ileana, is your camera on? Ileana, can you hear me? I'm not I, I'm not sure. I can't tell if you have the camera on or not. It's it seems like you do, but I can't really see you. Can, do you, can you open your microphone? Hmm. Elena, if you can hear me, but you just can't you know, turn on your camera, your microphone, uh, you can try a login out and logging back in. Because I can't see you at all. It, it appears that you are like, in my system, it appears that your camera is on, but I can't see you at all. Hmm. Okay, well. All right, so um, let's start with Anna Claudia. Present teacher. All right, David. Present teacher. Okay, great. Dora. Present. Excellent. Fernando Ernesto. Present. Excellent. Uh, do, uh, Fernando Marvin. Present. Excellent. Uh, Francisco. Present teacher. Excellent. Uh, Heidi. Heidi, Heidi. Is Heidi here? Hmm, not here. Okay. Um, Ileana. Ileana? No. Okay. Uh, Harvin? Present teacher. Okay, wonderful. Uh, Jose Marcos? Present. Excellent. Uh, Jose Osmin? Present teacher. Excellent. Jose Wilfredo? Jose Wilfredo. Not here either. Okay, Juan Miguel. Present teacher. Excellent. And Ramon Enrique. Ramon Enrique. Uh, Roberto Luis. Uh, Roxana Ivet. Roxana? No, no Roxana. William. Alexander. Present. All right, wonderful. And Suleyma. And Wendy. Present teacher. Excellent. And Wilfredo. Okay. All right, guys and girls, welcome to today's class. And uh, we're going to start with our PowerPoint presentation. Please tell me if you can see my PowerPoint. You see it? Yes, teacher. Yes, Wonder. teacher. Perfect. Okay. So this is the advanced four. It's day number 23. The date is Friday, March 3rd, 2023. Your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. All right, so yesterday we started doing this um, this 
assignment of um, a, with working with your group and discussing um, this uh, about um, cybersecurity and cyber crimes at your workplace, right? Um, now, some of you told me that you were finished, others of you needed more time. So um, my question is, how much time do you need? Do you need five, 10 minutes? How much more time? Maybe 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Do you all yes. agree? Do you all agree 10 minutes? Let me ask my group. It'll probably be easier if I do it that way. Um, okay, so I have a Francisco Eduardo, Heidi, Eliana, and Jose Wilfredo. Are you guys finished or do you need more time? Francisco Eduardo. Um, also, Alfredo is not here. So I think, uh, Francisco Eduardo, you think you're the only one representative of your group. Did you guys finish? So, teacher, uh, this is the uh, activity uh, the, of yesterday. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Time? Yeah, the last activity that we did yesterday. Uh, for me, I need a uh, uh, 10, 10 minutes. 10, 10 minutes, OK. OK. All right, Fernando, uh, Fernando Marvin, Juan, uh, Jose Marcos, and Harvin. Are you guys finished, or do you need more time? Yeah, we need, like, Ten how minutes. much more? How much more time? Ten minutes, maybe. Ten more minutes. Okay. All right. Uh, Ana Claudia, David, and Dora, are you all? Yes, we are need, you? We time, right, baby? We were discussing it. We were just uh, answering two questions each of us, so we are okay. missing two, two more. Two more questions. Okay. Mm -hmm. So how much? How much more time do you need? Ten minutes. It would be okay, right, baby? Yes. Okay, perfect. All right. I also have Jose Osmin, Juan Miguel, Roxanne, and Wendy. Did you guys finish? No teacher as well, so we need 10 more minutes. Also 10 minutes. Perfect. Okay. So I'll give you guys 10 minutes. Um, okay. Let's... Uh, See how we can do this. Mm -hmm. So group number one, we have uh, Francisco Eduardo, Heidi is not here, Eliana, and Jose Wilfredo is also not here. Okay, All right, group number two, we have Fernando Marvin, Harvin, and Jose Marcos. In group number three, Anna, David, and Dora. In group number five, oh, sorry, number four, we have Jose Osmin, Juan Miguel, Roxana, who's not here, and Wendy. Okay. Um, Um, William, you were not here yesterday, right? Not sure. Okay, so I'm going to sign you. 
a group. You will be with with group number one. Mm, yeah. Uh, and Fernando Ernesto, you were not here either, right? I wasn't here. Okay. So, um, I'm going to assign you to group number, same group number four. All right, so I'm going to open up for two minutes. You guys have the information, right? Like, um, I don't, I don't need to send you again the picture, right? You guys have it there, right? Okay, so right now I'm opening the groups. And okay, I remember yesterday we were working with uh also with with I don't remember Jose Wilfredo Jose Wilfredo and Heidi right right so um I remember that just the last question left so will you agree that ICT will improve the customer experience your company provides ICT yeah in ICT is in information communication technology communication technology would you agree that ICT will improve the customer experience your company provides? Mm. Information and communications technology. I think that that yeah, because, uh, for example, when you use uh, an email, they can get the information easy. And also, you can call, with ICT systems, you can collect, for example, a lot of data of your customers. Mm -hmm. And if in the future, it to be necessary to ask, again, for some information, others' information, for example, um, numbers, um, also, maybe uh, the, the customer experience could be more out, out, like automated or autom automated, yeah, like, like an automated process. And mm -hmm. maybe you, uh, it's not going to be necessary to have um, a person, physical person to ask, and doubts or just the questions of the customers. I think that I agree. Right. For example, uh, I think uh, in the in the the next uh, in the in the near future, uh, the artificial intelligence uh, mm -hmm. 
is probably that um, is it present in in many applications. For example, it's probably when you you uh, have a, a model from a, a artificial intelligence when you type a, a email and the <laughs> the it's possible that the 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 artificial intelligence give some idea from <laughs> from ITGP. From uh, uh, for uh, to assist <laughs> to assist yeah. the work. Yeah, you can write what would you what what you want, and they type and they. Uh -huh. Based on from, for example, your inform your information, your mm -hmm. clients, your daily activities. The the artificial intelligence uh, will uh, recollect uh, the, da the data and provide a, a best. But in conclusion, technology will improve all. Yes, of course. The yeah. technology does, doesn't have the limit. Yeah, the limit is the human. <laughs> <laughs> or healing is the limit. I don't know what is the order. The sky is right. the limit, right? Like in Spanish. The sky, sky, right? Sky. Sky is the limit. Yeah. Uh, okay. We finished, teacher. You already finished? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Well, just let's stick around. We still have about more, a little bit more than four minutes. So we'll just relax and anything else you guys need, uh, uh, just yeah. call me over. I'll go and check the other groups. Okay. Yeah, we will share it. our knowledge. <laughs> But your company or the one you work for, eh, they are concerned about the cybersecurity? Yes. Uh, I, I, what do you say? The computer has a, a antivirus, antivirus. Mm -hmm. or, or, Computers in when I close the before close the office, uh, turn off the internet, turn off of all computers for any case. Uh, so you always log out. Yes. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Log out and turn off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Yes, but if you don't don't uh, uh, how to say that, I, I, if you don't disconnect from the internet, uh, the problem is still Always there. Always that would be a risk, right? Yes. Ah, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, is I think it's it's less. Yes, yes, it's Always there will be a, a minor problem, but it still persists. Mm -hmm. That's right. And this last question says, would you agree that ICT will improve the customer experience your company provides? Uh, it's true. Yeah, for me too. Sí. Whatever we want, but I was telling you that there are the some answers. But if you want to do something, you are welcome to do.
Are you guys finished? Uh, yes, teacher, I think. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, perfect. Okay. So we'll, we'll see you in the main room in a moment. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, so it seems to me that um, most people are finished, right? Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think everybody is. So, right? Okay, good. Uh, just uh, um, if you guys can help me out with your cameras, um, remember that when you're when you um, when you go to an if you're on the cell phone and you go to another page. If you open up some other program, your camera turns off. So if you guys can open up your camera, that'd be wonderful. I'd really appreciate that. So, um, Dora, Fernando Ernesto, you guys can open your cameras, please. I, I think Dora is having problems with uh, her camera. Oh, I, uh, she turned it on now. I can see her. Okay. Perfect. Thank you, guys. All right, so uh, we're going to start um, with uh, group number one, which is uh, Francisco Eduardo, Heidi, Ileana. Um, hold on. I think it's easier if I do it from here. Um, okay, so it's uh, Francisco Eduardo, Ileana, William. All right, so... We're ready for you. Okay, teacher. We have um, just a question. Uh, we are going to talk about for all for the fourth questions or to, yeah, mm -hmm. okay. yeah, the four questions. Yeah, so um, you guys can like share like uh, the information, so everybody has an opportunity of of speaking. Okay. Well, I can start. Um, I believe the first one is name two ways in which technology has transformed the processes at your workplace. Uh, yesterday, one of the uh, one of the way that I exposed to my to my um, with with Heidi, Wilfredo, William, and and, and, Fr and Francisco was that, for example, when uh, in like in the pandemic time, um, with this thing of, of the VPN was uh, that helps a lot, a lot, a lot. That because I I had access to my like my computer that was physically in my office, but mm -hmm. with my laptop I can connect every day, and I I remember that I can also send um some things uh, to the printer in my office. And sometimes people just call me and Ileana, could you help me with this? And uh, yeah, yeah, sure. And I, I, I sent the, the document and they received the documents in the, in the office. For me, it was an amazing thing. And maybe another way, and for example, uh, in customer service that now with the technology, customers uh, can pay their bills 
by the, themselves. They don't need to go to an agency mm -hmm. and physically, here's my bill, I, I want to pay it out. You can pay right now online. You just need a credit or debit card and and, and yeah, you can do that. I think that that, that, that could be two ways in which technology transform and helps a lot that two processes in my workplace. I don't know, Francisco, if you want to, to share us the number two. Well, um, uh, the question is made to prediction of how technology will continue to reshape the operation in your company. Mm -hmm. uh, in my case, uh, uh, I talking about uh, the, the company, uh, uh, all process uh, running on on ICT in my case because uh, uh, the operation uh, um, is is all digital. The when uh, make a, a inspection, the, the inspection is is not a physical. It's is is a, a a digital in the information. Uh, sent to the other, the other office uh, from for analyze, and in the future uh, is probably uh, the, the 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 information uh, sent uh, faster because the 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 I I don't remember teacher the banda ancha. Uh, and broad, uh, broadband. Uh, broadband uh, is probably in the future is uh, maybe better, and the uh, the information uh, uh, send faster to the central office, and and I the other uh, other prediction. Uh, I think in, in the future, the the company incorporate, uh, uh, for example, an intelligence artificial model from make more easier uh, the the operation. Okay, and the last, would you agree that ICT will improve the customer experience your company provides? I totally agree. Because, um, for example, I use uh, always the email. I al I always use uh, um, a system and the different programs. Uh, always the cell phone, for, for example, and uh, for example, uh, have a meeting too, uh, or maybe uh, create a a document and and use the digital sign and always uh, you can save their time and it is an advantage because it helps you to create a, to create a good relation with your client. Maybe that's it. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Round of applause, very good. Excellent, okay. All right, guys, then we're going to go to group number two, which is um, Fernando Marvin, Harvin, Jose Marcos, and Roberto. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. I, I will start if my partner doesn't have a problem with that. And I will mm -hmm. mention to, to name that which is technology has transformed the process at, at my workplace, mm -hmm. for example, I work in a textile factory and the way that transform is in the communication. Right now it's, so, it's easier to communication with the customer, take your phone and send a, a WhatsApp or take the computer and send an email. In another way is that the, the way can we offer our service? Because I remember 10 years ago when I started to work there, we always have to send uh, physical samples 
And right now we can make a 3D sample. If we only send, it can, it, they can check all the 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 t-shirt, for example, and they do the comments and make the all the process faster. Okay. Um. The second question is, <clears throat> major prediction of how technology will continue to shape the operation of your company. Um. Yeah, for example, in my company, um, since the beginning of the pandemic, or, 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 or I don't know how to say it. Okay. <laughs> so, since the beginning of the this issue that we have, so we, we cannot go to the to the school job, we uh, start working from home. So, in that way, uh, the technology allows us to, to work from home uh, without the, the need to go to a physical place. So that uh, helps the, the company uh, in, uh, decrease the investment in, in renting a physical place and the operation and the resources that they use to operate every day. So, uh, Technology helps us to, to work from home and work better also to decrease the, the cost of the operation and also to reach more clients uh, because with the technology we can uh, meet more clients or reach more clients because we, the, the CSI or the sales department in or in my company um, they make meetings with the client so they uh, reach more uh, opportunity so the project are constantly uh, they are constantly making new projects because there are new opportunities okay number three all right are cybersecurity and cybercrime concerns in your company? Uh, in my specific case, I work in IT area, so it's usually that we receive a notification that we have a threat on the network. And we need to be careful with with an email for phishing or for or something like that. So it's common, but we had a good filtering. We had a, a department that a department that they are, your activity is the security of the of the network or of the equipment. And for the last question, teacher, uh, will you agree that ICT will improve the customer experience your company provides? Uh, I really agree with I really agree with that uh, because I work for a company that you your activity is sales by department. So, you know, nowadays you have the option to buy online, but in my company, you have the option to schedule a video call with a seller and you can buy from your house. Uh, the seller the seller has a video call with you and he he showed the, the pro, the, he showed the, the store and he he made um, a tour by the department and you can choose that you that you need uh, after you pay or you pay with they no he says he sent a link to you and you pay with your credit card and the, the products are sent to your house. So it's a really good experience for, for the customer thanks thanks to the technology. Interesting. Is that it? Yeah, yeah that's it. Sorry. Yes. Okay, perfect. Okay, thank you very much. Excellent. Thank you very much, guys. Um, next group is uh, Anna Claudia, David, and Dora. 
Okay, teacher, I will be answering the the first questions. Name two ways in which technology has transformed the process at the workplace. And we give our perspective. And first, Ana Claudia said that they feel glad that they, that, sorry, she feels glad that, that she can work from home and uh, she can get uh, all the documents she needs from the world, including the paycheck, including the documents uh, to present taxes so, or the documents to do whatever they she needs to do. Uh, in the past, there was uh, uh, many steps, many processes, that she need to do before to get some some letter, some information, and at this time she get all the information by email, uh, fast, in an accurate way, and uh, she feel good that uh, she can continue working from from home and doing all the the work from clients and all of she need for the company. And that is uh, that the, the way the increased technology has transformed the process in their workplace. In the case, uh, in the case of uh, Dora, Dora worked with uh, in the accountant, uh, with accountabilities, accountabilities for, for clients. And, and she says that uh, she can pay uh, taxes, she can do, all of the uh, information, or all of the, I don't know, all, all of the documents that she needs from Ministry of Hacienda. Ministry of Hacienda have his own platform and she can pay taxes from their company, from their clients, or a CNR, or a, another institution that can uh, request that kind of information like in this time we need to pay our annual taxes we have uh, i think until april april the end of april is the time we need to pay the annual taxes and that is uh, uh, there are uh, websites and uh, Mm, there are space that can simulate your process. You can do all, all of your work in that space. They, this space are simulating the are you writing in, in, in by handwriting, and uh, you can uh, know what what do you need to how do you need to pay. In the past, you need to go make a a line, a standing line, uh, sometimes until midnight, the last day, like good Salvadorians. And there are some guys in the outside of the institution. Uh, you need to pay five dollars and they uh, fill your, your, <laughs> your documentation. And uh, they, I don't know how these guys do it, but they can get copies, photocopies and uh, but now you can do all that things uh, in a, in a uh, platform of the institution. And in my case, uh, in the educational field, where we can do many things like uh, uh, books, uh, teaching classes. Uh, from the last year, we have uh, students from from a uh, uh, this was Salvador, but is standing in a and a Switzerland, and uh, she can get the classes and, and get uh, his graduation without problem. And uh, we can use the technology to do experiments, science experiments, uh, to demonstrate uh, uh, some theories, things uh, uh, that in the past we only can talk about them. But now we can show the students through 
smartphones, through smart TVs, or through a platform. And uh, even though plays like uh, Romeo and Julieta, uh, we can play it in a, in a video and they can see, the people, the students can see and uh, can get more impact, impact in their teachings that only reading a book. And that is uh, the, the first question. The, the second question I seen Anna Claudia was talking yes. about that. Yes, uh, we were talking about predictions on how the technology will continue to reshape the operations of our companies. We, uh, it was, uh, it was nice to talk all of us because we work on different uh, offices, different business. I work in sales in the call center. David teaches, and Dora works uh, in an accounting office. So. Uh, we all agree that the technology will, one of the two predictions is that there will be an increase of jobs or professions, professions that maybe we still don't know the name because every since new things are developing, new programs, new applications, new devices will be required too. So one of the things we can, we, we are aware of is that there will be an increase or develop of new professional professions or jobs that maybe right now they don't exist. The reason and what will happen also is that there will be professions that maybe they will disappear, like the one that David was mentioning. People who work for a long time every year working you pay five dollars and they will be fulfilling your form for the taxes annual taxes uh now nowadays that is so easy to do it to do that process online mm -hmm. and everybody can access for free i guess those people now are looking for different things we can say that job that profession disappeared and not only because of the technology, also because of pandemic. And the things and the changes will happen not only because of the development of technology, also because of we are forced for external factors. Uh, but also uh, once technology will reshape the way how we work or how we interact with each other, maybe it will be... Um, we can think that we communicate with the developer of the technology because all of us, we use a mobile phone. We have either a tablet or a computer, but that is a lie because in real life, we don't um, have like interaction, like a deep friendship. Like, I don't know if I can use this word uh, like... Um, a real and true friendship with other human beings because we can talk different things in social media, eh, all friends we have on Facebook, but we don't have a real conversation with them. We don't know how they feel. So that will be making us like uh, a part people, a society, a lone people. And that will be increasing uh, disease, new disease, for example, uh, people now is so common to hear that they are depressed. They have anxiety. Anxiety? Can I say anxiety? Anxiety attacks. Anxiety attacks. Anxiety. Ah, anxiety attacks. There are new, uh, new things we need to face, and we need to to know how to deal with, like the cyberbullying, and uh, also in the same in the same way. Uh, Maybe we will be asked to do the job we do, but on a specialized way. And that will be forcing us to have the latest or ultimate technology on a mobile phone. Uh, maybe there will be another asset that right now we don't know yet and, and that will be developed. We were talking about that, that, that maybe that will force us to be working or to be available like type of 24 seven, right? Because we are depending more on technologies and tasks and jobs, they are going to 
depend on technology. And I guess Zora will be talking about the cybersecurity. Zora, mm -hmm. David? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, third question, are cybersecurity and cybercrime concerned in your company? Yes, of course. In my office is, is in every day, three months, we do a backup, all information. Uh, the information is in, in cloud too. The information is, is very important because it's a, a information of, of customer is confidence. Uh, it's important to know the save the, the, the documents. Other is a, um, all computers have a antivirus in, in the in the afternoon when I close the office before uh, turn off the internet, turn off uh, the computers for anything case. In the the other question, would you agree that ICT will improve the customer experiences in your company? Provide yes to. Yes, it's very important. Today, in my case, uh, I have a customer, the customer, I, I know only a, a account, I only assistant, I, I assistant too. And the, the customer said me, Doris, please transfer the money, our, our supply, Doris pay the, the anything in in real time uh, i connected for for whatsapp in yes is the, yeah i send the, the the transfers i i pay the supply okay let me see it is yes yes i see oh it's it's so easy the communication in my work that's for, the, for that last question, teacher, the three of us, we agree that it's very important uh, the um, uh, intervention of ICT. Uh, and, and also we find out that our companies make us not only to make a backup like in Doris company, but also uh, make us to review security every since and also to make online courses to remind us that this and this, uh, we don't need to click on this, we don't need to open that and stuff like that. That is what we were discussing, teacher. Yes. Yes, in my case, I have a, I have two uh, a clients, they live in Canada. And from Canada, uh, I can, uh, uh, they uh, asked me about questions for your accountant. It is so easy, the, the communication, because they in, in Canada, in, they, are, they, they are in Canada, but they have business in, in El Salvador. In the case of the student, it's amazing how the ICT can improve the experience of the student because if you can see in some places there are uh, maps that you can see in a, in the in some way you can see in another way you can see the places the important places you can see the reference point you can see uh, the in the important information of that country, of that city, of that place, of that continent. And uh, you can see, uh, we, we was talking about the Nile River, you can see the river. We was talking about the pyramids of Egypt, and we can see. And that is important, even though there are some sites that get you in, in of the pyramid, 
and you can see what uh, was in the uh, uh, Tutankhamun uh, in the, the, you can uh, do in other uh, subjects, uh, some experiments, you can uh, see the universe, you can see the proportion of the, what is uh, the size of the earth, in the sun and a, a Cassiopeia, you can see it, you can compare. And a, some, there are some a, a, a tools to teach that can improve the learning experience and get more impact in the, in the mind of the students. Um, so David... I see that's Yes. Okay. Uh, so, David, I have a question. So, you say that you have a student that that uh, is studying from where? Uh, I, I don't know if the correct name, but Switzerland. She was Salvadorian, but she was taking a vacation in that place. Oh, and, okay. Yes, and, and yeah. she can connect. Now she is in the country. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah that yes. was my question. I was just wondering if you were having like students from there or just a student that was Salvadoran that was that was yes. going there. Okay. Yes, yes she okay. was a Salvadorian and maybe I, I think they have some relatives in that country and that and uh, she can go on vacation and you know that uh, in in that places of the continent the best time to go is in the middle of the year because uh, something like June that uh, there are days with they they have sun summer <laughs> and in the other days is uh, so dark and uh, the best time is in the middle of the year yeah yeah oh, I get it oh interesting okay all right very good thank you proud of us Excellent. Okay, now we're going to do the last group, which is uh, Fernando, Juan Miguel, and Wendy. Hi, good night. Good evening. Uh, good, good evening. Sorry, sorry. It's good evening. Okay. It's all right. Um, let's, uh, I want to share my screen. Okay. Yeah. We try to work uh, with with the guys, so we have now we we try to answer about these questions. Yeah. Okay. Um. Name two ways in which technology has transformed the processes at your workplace. Uh, for me personally, uh, I talk about the re remote support. Yeah, it's uh in pandemic time. Uh, most of the people from the office had to work at home, yeah, uh, or from home. So in cases that they had some issues uh, with, the, with their PC or with the system, I, uh, I used a uh, remote software in order to connect to to their PCs and solve the issues if we if we can do uh, another thing uh, was the video calls for work and was uh, a must yeah because many of people at the office they can't uh, or, or they couldn't go to the office. There was a time that the about 60% was sick because of the COVID and the other 40% from uh, of the co of the co-workers uh, just the only only they were just working yeah so in order to try to explain something, 
and not to get a meeting physically, uh, we use this tool, yeah, video calls, uh, maybe for Zoom, for Teams, for whatever platform that we can uh, use at the time. Yeah, so in my case, uh, the first one, the remote support was one of the best things that we can uh, that we can experiment and maybe you can say uh, but remote support is not the it's not it's not kind of ex of special yeah but uh, because of uh, because of the people is used to go physically to the office uh, they were used to uh, that hey technician come here and fix my computer yeah or maybe uh, do whatever you want but here my computer so uh, people got used from that time to uh, get remote support yeah um and the video calls yeah that were a must uh, for me, uh, these ideas, yeah? And maybe I don't know if one of the other co uh, co-workers can uh, continue with the partners, sorry, can continue with the, with the questions and the answers. Well, I continue uh, the second uh, question. Is made to prediction of how technology will continue to reshape to operation in your company. Well, in my case, uh, I work in the uh, production company. And uh, I believe that the technology uh, in as help help us a lot of that. I believe that the automa auto I don't know how do you say automatization teacher? I forget automatization. We can hear you. Sorry, I was on mute. Automatization. Automatization? Yeah, automatization. Uh, of the packages, my machines, uh, and can actually the, the product. Um, in right now in my uh, my me my area uh, we use or we can use a uh, artificial intelligence intelligence for for uh, use of translation and maybe a uh, next uh, step is used to educate to the uh, the artificial artificial intelligence maybe is the next step in my work in yeah. my Continue. Okay, uh, RC cybersecurity and cyber crime concerning your company. Uh, in my case, uh, I I work at, at the IT department in my company, so we have to be very careful with this this topic because uh, we we build application, we build systems, and we have to be sure be sure that about the the service that we offer to the client because. Uh, they use our application for uh, every day for, for working. So we have to guarantee them the, that the, the, app, the apps are safe to use. They, they can uh, register all the transaction without problem and to, the, the, that information is safe. So that is because that is very important, it, this, this topic in, in my workplace. And would you agree that the ICT will improve the customer experience your, your company provides? 
Yes, of course, because uh, every, every day uh, the technologies are evolved, evolved. So uh, uh, every year when a new update or maybe a new programming language, a new technology for, for building apps, we have to be up to date with that because we have to implement the new, the new capability, the new uh, maybe uh, functionality that uh, the the mobile apps can be can have in, in inside the, the this app. So we have to we can we we would uh, improve the the customer experience. We have a, a customer service uh, department. Uh, when they, they use a different system to to tracking all the issues uh, for the for the clients and when a new capability appears uh, they install the capability and create a manual create a maybe a uh they are they create a training for all the customer service agency that is the way that they are uh, uh, learning the new the new capabilities of software and in that way, they, they can offer the, the uh, best a better uh, experience for a for a customer. That's it. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Round of applause. Excellent, guys. Thank you. Okay. All right. And if I believe we have gone to the end of our presentations. So everybody has presented. So as usual, I'll give my feedback. Um, here, let's see if I can bring it up. Okay, so something, this is one of the, the most common, I've noticed the most common uh, mistakes that um, people make when we're doing comparisons or superlatives, um, we especially with the with the ad, um, the adjective easy, I tend to see this problem. I get people saying, for example, more easy or more a e more easy. So hold on. Yeah, or more easier. So this is this is something I've I've noticed um very common. I hear more easy or more easier. Now, what would be the comparative form of easy? Easier than easier than. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, easier than. So eliminate the more. Okay, don't say more. Okay, so it's easier than in the superlative. What would be the superlative of easy? Easiest. The easiest. Yeah. So don't so don't say the most easy. No, it would be the easiest. Okay. So more more uh, so more eliminated. Okay. We just say easier than, and. We eliminate the most as well. So we don't say the most easiest. We just say the easiest. So easier than or the easiest. Okay. All right. Um, how do we pronounce? Sure. Yeah. The, the very easy is not correct. Yeah, very easy is fine, but but, but we're not comparing. That that like okay. you can you can say that, but you're not comparing anything if you say more easy if you say very easy. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Perfect. All right. How do you pronounce this word? <clears throat> Textile. Textile. Kind of. Textile. Textile. Okay. Yeah. No. Textile, yeah, tile. Okay. Textile. Yes, textile. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, if I say, for example, Uh, 
what do you guys think of this sentence? It's on platform. It's on platform. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's yeah, not very good. It. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Because it's not a person, we would say it's on platform. Or it's also technically correct to say their own platform. Okay. We use the word there, even if it's not plural. Um, when we are talking either about a person that we're not sure, we don't know if it's a man or a woman, okay? Um, or or we're talking about the, a company as well, okay, or, or not a company, yeah, a, a company or a, a, um, a corporation or something like that. So technically it'd be okay to, to say their own platform. Okay, all right, so uh, even though it's not plural, okay, it may not be plural, but like I said, uh, for example, um, you can say, I would like to know what is your, um, I would like to know who's your teacher, what's their name? I would like to know who's your teacher. What's their name? Obviously, we're talking about one teacher, so it's not plural. But because we don't know if it's a man or a woman, we can say there. Okay? Sounds good? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, okay. Um. How do we how do we say this? How do we pronounce it? A must. A must. Must. Good. A must, not must. Must. Okay. Must. Ah. Uh -uh. it's, it's once again the the sound of the the u the 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 most common sound of the u, which is a. Uh. And speaking of that. I know. Good Production. <laughs> production. Yeah, exactly. So production. Okay, remember that, please. And this is. Oh, sorry. Forget the. Forget the six there. Product. Product. Yeah. So it's not product. It's product, duct. Okay. Um, and the last one also was. How do you pronounce this word? Capability. 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 <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Mm. Hey, capability. Okay. Capability. So not kappa, capa, capability. Capability. Mm -hmm. capability. Okay. Mm -hmm. capability. Okay. And it could be capability and capability. Yes. Right. Mm, can you repeat that question? Capability. And it's also right, capability. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just as long as you pronounce the beginning K, not Ka. Mm -hmm. you're, you're talking, one's American and one's British, right? Yeah. Capability yeah. sounds for me more like British. British. Capability. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. All right. Any questions, guys? Anything else you want to ask about? Okay. So just, I, just mm -hmm. yes, yes, David. I, I have one question. In the past, in the manual, mm -hmm. we see one word. Or mm -hmm. We saw. Mm -hmm. 
because it was in the past. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Uh, the, that word says, said automation. 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 Okay. Automation. Mm -hmm. And now we talking about automatic automatic automatization. Automatization. Uh, repeat it. Automatization. Aromatization, okay. What is the difference between two words? Uh, very good question. Uh, Can I get back to you on that? Sorry? Can I get back to you on that? Okay. Yeah, because, um, yeah, there is a difference. Um, but just to, uh, yeah, I, I, I'll, get, I'll get back to you on that. Okay. All right. Okay, guys. Um, anything else? Any other? Anything else you guys want to ask about? Okay. All right. Speaking of vocabulary, that's actually our next step in this um, in this class is to look at vocabulary, new vocabulary. So please tell me if you can see my PowerPoint. Can you guys see my, my PowerPoint? Yes, sure. Yes. Okay. So here we have vocabulary um, related to what we're we're looking at, right? Okay. Um, so we have big data, cloud computing, remote workforce, and silos. Okay. Um, what I'm going to ask you guys to do is uh, we're going to work in small groups, and we're going to be finding out the meaning of these words. Okay. Mm, so I can copy and paste for you. Okay, so we're going to make new groups. Um, just a second, guys. Okay, and so I'm going to make small groups, okay? So I'm, I'm going to uh, recreate the groups. Mm. Um, all right, so I'm going to um, give you about 10 minutes to find out um, the information. Okay. And remember that um, we are, this has to do with um, ICT. Okay. So, um, so these, so all of the vocabulary has to do with ICTs specifically in business, okay? So if you get another, um, if you find out the meaning in the internet, 
that has to do with something else, that's not what we're looking for, okay? So it has to be related to ICTs, especially in business, all right? Um, any questions before we move you to your new group? No, teacher. Okay. All right, so here we go. I'm opening up the groups. Okay, the first is big data, right? Big data, right. Okay. Okay, big data. Big data. Ana Claudia, if you are talking, you are mute. Oh my God. <laughs> thank you, teacher. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, what I was uh, telling to my colleagues is that looking for big data, I found that it's uh, larger, more complex data, Set is especially from new data sources in the examples that this shows here is transaction processing systems, customers database, documents, email. I guess when you send emails, a lot of email, medical records. I'm going to copy and paste. Okay. And what did you find with the other one? Um, still reading about. Okay, I'm going to. Fernando, maybe you can help us with the third one. That is um the remote workforce. You 
We just. Hi. Did you send something? No. No. Okay. Let me. Hey, let me try to complete. Okay. This is what I found uh, on big data. And you're looking for uh, remote workforce, right? Let me check. And I don't know if Fernando is looking for another one. No, he is looking for remote workforce. Ah, uh, and, and what are you looking for, Ramon? The second one. Marco, um, no computing. Ah, okay. And who is looking for silos? Let me look for it. I put the, uh -huh. the remote for workers. Ah, okay. Let me copy paste. Workforce is a group of employees within an organization who run new work. Ah, like the work we do, uh, working from home, in my case. Yeah, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, usually work from, oh, okay. Do you know, I was uh, hearing a um, uh, term, I don't remember if it was, but in, in Spain, is a country that they are uh, providing visas for all this digital, in, in Spanish, I, I remember I wrote digital nomadas, something like that. It's people that work once you use your computer and the same, the same that we do that working from home. So you can move and work uh, from different countries. Now Spain is giving, um, like a kind of permission so you can work from there from that country and not having issues like migratory things that is what i was reading and i don't know if why what they win is that when there are a lot of people they are spending money they are using services, I don't know. If, but you can live right there two years with no problems. In Spain? Yeah, hmm. I was reading about that. Mm -hmm. Maybe because later I'll I, move to Spain then. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, yeah. Digital nomads, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, that's, digital, yeah. Right? yeah, I'm a digital nomad. Uh, yeah, you are, yes, mm -hmm. you are. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. But they are like uh, giving you all the permissions or paperwork for you to stay with no problem. With you mm -hmm. can be, you can stay there in the legal way. See, that's that's been the problem here in 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 Turkey, precisely because because Turkey has become a um because Turkey is is a very cheap country. Many 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 digital nomads have come. To, oh, really? to Turkey and so now we're having well now there's problems with too many foreigners and Turkish people blame foreigners for the inflation now ah uh, okay mm -hmm. I guess yeah yeah because it, I mean there's been a huge inflation it's like horrible inflation in Turkey it's like um before a, a an apartment 
um, could cost like um, a regular apartment would cost like a, let's say 4,000 um, uh, liras, Turkish liras. Mm -hmm. And now they, for the same apartment, they want 9,000 wow. Turkish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, it's horrible. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, so expensive. Horribly expensive, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Um, are you guys finished or do you need more time? Mm -hmm. It's we are missing silos. <laughs> okay, go ahead then. I'll, I'll give you more time. Okay. Silos. And... And Jose, what was the one you found? Inflation. David, you work in yeah. a in a school, yeah. So it could be related uh, that you have your own. I don't know how to say this. Lista de asistencia, attendance list, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, and and for example, you teach maths, yeah, and another teacher teach science, and he has another uh, attendance list. But for example, you want to know in uh, at the end of the day how many students came for each class, yeah? You have your own checklist or your, your own attendance list and the other professor or teacher could have or might have his own attendance list. So you have the information segregate, no sé, el mejor segregada, es decir, como regada, okay? Mm. The info. But at the end, if you want to analyze the whole data or the data in a in a upper level, yeah, you won't be able to do that because you have some data here, some data here. The data mm -hmm. is not a consolidated, consolidated, maybe no, I don't know if this is the right word, teacher. Yeah, that's fine. Just remember, it's data. Data. data, data. Mm -hmm. Teacher, mm -hmm. what is the correct pronunciation for the last word? Silo? Silo? No, silo. Silo. Yeah. silo. Silos. Silos. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Okay, continue when we are. Uh, I think this is the, the best way to... Maybe I think to tell David what is a silo. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I think that this we we use a silo in the case of the students. If we put in a silo maybe the notes uh, that, that you don't need to uh, to correct or to actualize because uh, we need to put them in a in a security site. And uh, in that case, yes, the attendance, maybe not because you, uh, I understand your example. Okay, I, I, I was I was trying to refer to the attendance in order to, you have, for example. Yes. Uh, we have different different roles, different lists. I, yeah. I, I understand yeah. that. And uh -huh. we, we don't have the full information because everyone has his own information. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I, I got it. Yeah. But... You you can you can analyze your data. The other teacher can analyze his that his yes. data. Yes. But you can analyze the whole data because it's not related one to another. Yeah. Related. Yes. Yes. I, yeah. I I got it. The idea. But the use of a silo is you have a site that's uh, a special, a special side when you put your information that this not was flowing, it was storage. Is it's, it's like uh, 
I want a house where you put your your uh, uh, articles that we are you are not using, something like that. You put them and they, they uh, will be stored for uh, some time. And in that case, we can use a silo. We can use a silo to put information that we are not using, we are not actualizing. This information that only is a backup, uh, like uh, we can put in a silo maybe the the names, the address, the uh, the basic information of customers. Uh, we oh. can store it in a silo for uh, uh, future reference. If we lost something, we we have a backup. Uh, uh, instead of having a machine, we uh, rent a silo. We pay for a, a silo, and we have uh, the information in that place. And the the use of all of this information, the use. Of these sites is you can record the information for any place, but the information is not flowing, it's not actualizing, it's not a. Uh, uh, you can, uh, if you have a new customers, you need to have another backup and put in the silo. All right, guys, are you finished or do you need more time? Finish, teacher. Finish. You're finished? Time to finish. Happy. We continue tomorrow. Um, no, oh, let's not, okay. continue. Let's not tomorrow, continue tomorrow. No. Thank you. <laughs> Monday and Monday and Monday. I have uh, all of my brain asleep now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's not continue tomorrow. Um, how about Monday? Um, okay, so yeah, well, I'll give you guys a little bit more time, maybe five more minutes on Monday. Um, what I do hope is that you wrote things down because you're not going to remember by Monday if you just had it by memory. So if you haven't written it down, write it down before you, you go to sleep tonight. Um, otherwise, you're going to be lost on Monday. Okay, so just, just a little reminder there. And I have the answer that you you for the answer um that you you asked um david you asked about okay, the difference yes. okay um so automatization is when you do th something automatically so you're like you're doing a a routine or a, a habit and you do it automatically you don't really think about it yeah yes, so like the, Something like that, yes. Like what? A brief. Or you can uh, do your breathing. Oh, you say? Yes. breathing, yeah. Breathing, yes. Yeah, but this is actually like you're developing a skill or a habit. So it's not something, it's, it's something that you develop, not that you do it automatically, like because you're, your body does it this is a skill that you develop yes. or, or a habit that you develop so to okay. give you an example like driving 
like driving yeah. yes sometimes you may you you may even be driving and you're not even looking at like you're not really concentrating yes. on the road and you're just driving you know and so that becomes a habit or a skill that you develop that becomes automatic yes. yeah that's automatization okay so to to make a habit or a, or a skill automatic for you yes. and um automation is to incorporate um a whether to the to your um to the facility or to the to the place um some machinery or uh, like automatic machinery yeah that would be automation uh, or okay. automation sorry okay. automation yeah, yeah. Is like uh, the the big step. You get the machine to automatize your processes. The automation is okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I so to, to the to introduce like the yes. the machines the equipment that you're going to be using yes. in your facility. Okay. Okay. I got it. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, so guys, um, just we're gonna take quickly the attendance. Ana Claudia, present. David, present. Teacher. Dora, present. Fernando, present. Ernesto, mm -hmm. Fernando Marvin, present. Francisco, present. Teacher. And Heidi, Eliana, uh, present. Teacher. Harvey. Present teacher. Uh, Jose Marcos. Present. Okay. Jose Osmin. Jose Wilfredo. Juan Miguel. Chair. Okay. Uh, Ramon Enrique. Ramon Enrique. Y Roberto Luis. Roberto Luis, eh, Roxana Ivet, William Alexander, present, Suleyma Ivon, Wendy, Wendy, present. Wilfredo, Wilfredo, no, Sorry, okay. I couldn't answer, but I'm here. Okay, okay, perfect, great, excellent. Okay, so that will be all, guys. Um, I will see you on Monday. Now, I do, I do remind you that we're going to be finishing this course on Tuesday, and Tuesday night everything has to be finished. So I really encourage you to work on the platform this weekend. Um, work on the final exam. And I'm going to uh, I'm going to remind them again to check the 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 problems on the platform. Okay, um, so I'm going to remind them so that they um, can work on that. And maybe on this weekend, uh, they will be those problems will be solved, and that way you guys can uh, finish off the the final exam and uh, in unit three as well as, as well. But um, I encourage you guys to work on that so you're not running last minute on Tuesday and rushing and doing everything last minute, okay? So that's it, guys. I will see you Monday. Have a wonderful weekend. Thank you, teacher. For you, too. You're welcome. Bye. 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 Good night, everybody. Good night. Hmm.